fuel. And now the guy that gives the fuel is all upset. It's just because he's selling less fuel. So, <laughs> because <laughs> it's a catch-22. You can't please everybody, you know. It's, it's, um, but I guess I've said enough. I don't know. I, I kind of rounded it up. And uh, let's see. I don't have anything else here. Well, I should lead it on a good note. Um, yeah, this so is make ortho hydrogen. And if you make, and I think all the inventors that make deuterium level, they're the ones that get bought out. Oh, that's not mine. That's a. That's the next guy, but that's pretty good. Who's that guy? Yes, there's a, yeah, there's a Jesus Christ is Lord water powered car. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Steve, for inviting me. Thank you, Andrew Batty. <laughs> if we have any questions, please come up to the microphone. Yeah, yeah, I'll do questions, yeah. I'm Byington Sims from Bisbee, Arizona. Wellington Sims from Bisbee, Arizona. Now, I was wondering if, if you took your car that has the HHO system on it to, you know, the smog test, wouldn't it show a clean emission? Yes, so real clean. So then that would be better, wouldn't it? You'd think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's, what's that? I, they just, it's all about the money, and I don't know. Yeah, that's, 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 it doesn't, it's a bureaucracy, you know? Yeah. I know in Tucson they have a emission check station. They just stick this pipe up your your sniffer up the exhaust, and they tell by that. Yeah, you know, when I first started, I went to a smog guy, and he was all excited. Let's try it out, and he was going, "God, this is clean." Yeah. It, that was before it kind of got like, oh, if you get a fine, if you have those machines and you own it, they sell these things. You own a gas station, you got to pay in payments, and and, it's a, and if you if you get caught, they give you another fine. You know, so the guys that run the shop, do bring that in here, please, Andy. You tell your friends to get out of here. Oh, we got in trouble because a kid took his Cadillac converter off and the guy welded it. He didn't have any money. So Doug goes, I'll put my hydrogen on there real quick and go do the test and I'll take it off for 50 bucks. So the kid did that and he was telling everybody in town, I got the pass, the smog test. Because he didn't have any money. And that's when the owner of the smog shop goes, you better not come back, you know, I don't want to lose my license. It's a big fine, he was telling me. They're, that's not, so I don't go there anymore. Well, they, they fine you even though it works better than what they had before. Yeah. And they, they still fine you for that, for having something better? They just tell you to take it off. I'm not going to, the people will say, take that off, I won't pass it. Oh. And they even have like car, car shot. Yeah. yeah. It's just, I don't know. So they look under the hood to see what you got, rather than yeah. They see something different. They yeah, they don't like that. Oh. They, they have to do a visual. But that's why I tell people to put the tubing in black stuff and put the cell underneath the bumper, and they might not see. Just don't say anything. Like Ryan did that. He got away with it, and they didn't say anything. Passed smog, and because yeah. you're kidding, they didn't do nothing. No, they didn't say anything. I didn't say nothing. On the Volo, you, you take the Velcro, hide it. It's under the dash. This little Velcro thing with lights. You just put it under the dash. They can't detect it. I just go tell them to hide it. Or yeah. take it off and put it on, you know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I get a white powder. I'm Ed, Ed Hemphill from Texas. I get a white powder looking stuff on my plates. Have you experienced that? It seems to, they work better once it gets there. But what, what, what kind of plate do you use? Stainless steel. <laughs> the white powder. Oh, the, on the oxygen side? Yeah. The yeah, one side, it'll, it'll be like a gray color. Um, and that was, so there's gray color on the oxygen side, and the hydrogen side is a bronze color. Yeah, but it's it's a white powder. On and both you sides. Can rub it off. That's, what kind of water are you using? Uh, distilled with uh, that, sodium hydrate. It, well, well, sodium hydroxide has a white residue. And if it leaks, it starts to grow white crystals everywhere. It's nasty stuff. I don't like using it. But Bob says, why do you use this stuff? It makes a square wave. It makes more production of ortho hydrogen. It runs cooler. It won't freeze. I've had it with 20% under the hood. It's 120 under the hood, and the cell was actually 100 degrees, running for hours. It's, it runs cooler than the air around it. In a cool running cell, you know, it lasts a long time. Yeah. And um, thank you. Okay. Oh. Hi. Hi. Um, on any of your devices, have you oh, added? Closer. Sorry. On any of your devices, have you added deuter uh, deuterium to them and then run them that way? To add deuterium? Yeah. No, I never tried that. I, I don't, you can't, you buy that stuff? I don't know. Yeah, you can buy it. Oh. Bob says I classified to own it. He goes, don't make that gas. Make right below it, he said. Because <laughs> you can go right below it and then you get all the radar. Um, I don't know. I never tried that. Yeah, um, if you can order it. And, well, I'm just curious. All right, oh, thanks. Okay.
or any other questions? Thank you, Andrew Batty. Okay. Oh, our, our cells are in the other room. We want to see them. We have our cells displayed with Max Miller's room. They're in there. Uh, drone makes them. Okay. Thank you, everybody.